Sports Cooking Show, uh, videoed by our friend Cole. Say hi, Cole. <laughs> Today we're going to be making the American Melting Pot with these ingredients. <gasps> and our first ingredient is poppy seed chicken. And here, this represents the Harlem Renaissance. Now take in mind, the black community at this moment was starting to get recognition. And so, that's when we started with jazz and other things. We have Louis Armstrong. But take in mind, they were better treated in the North than in the South still, which is really sad to say. For our next ingredient, we have the KKK, represented by literal human garbage. The KKK were just people who really hated everybody, and it wasn't just blacks that they hated, they also hated all non-American immigrants. And Marcus Garvey started the Back to Africa movement, and he had 3,000 people, and they were just black people who went back to Africa because they felt that they were no longer wanted in America. <laughs> For our next items, we have Cholula sauce and bananas. And these represent our immigrants. The problem is, we didn't really have enough Europeans coming over to our borders, but we did have a few Mexicans and South Americans coming up. And so this created a little problem in around Texas, creating the Texas border between Mexico and Texas. This also gave us a lot of cultural influences that we didn't really previously have from South America and Mexico. For our next cultural and political impact, we're going to be talking about the 18th Amendment and speakeasies, represented by this uh, wine. Now, here's what the 18th Amendment did. It, uh, it had us pour wine down the drain, and there it goes. But with speakeasies, we got it all back! <laughs> and so with the prohibition laws and acts, we were, we were forced to give up our wine and whiskey down the drain. Problem was... They didn't really force it well. Children went up from to get it with buckets, either sell it or give it to their parents. I'm gonna like put this into our diverse melting pot. And you know, this really affected our culture because people would just party secretly instead of out in the street, so you know. We got to all speak and have fun. We also smoked. Yeah, it was fun. Now for our next ingredient, we have a. Uh, these utensils for the 19th Amendment and flappers. No longer were women just things of the past. No, 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 sir. They were free. <laughs> As you see right here, we have... Represented by uh, Christ's mother. If we didn't have the other female objects. But now they could go and party and be like real members of society. They would just go out and dance. It really improved the, uh, the American culture. Because now we had influence of women, and not just, you know, partying, there were women in politics, too! They wore more makeup, they wore short dresses, they had fun! They got to drink whenever they wanted, they got to smoke whenever they wanted, they even got their own cars and drove to the parties. They, it was fun! And they used profanity! And so now, we're gonna represent urban and rural changes. Here we have the salt. And we have flour. And at this point in the 1920s, some rural areas didn't really want new introductions to, let's just say, cars or machines. They wanted to keep it as simple and plain as possible as well as their grandparents have taught them to. And so they made their own bread. They didn't really... They used cows as still machines to work with the... Goddamn. To plow the fields. And uh, for Urban, we have the uh, this Lego car, beautiful. Uh, shoot, that's a brand name. Get, get, edit that out. We have a car made out of building bricks. And uh, we have batteries. batteries to re represent electricity. Now, the car uh, was made more useful by mass production, uh, you know, and that allowed by, like, 1928, 60% of families to own at least one car. And electricity was brought about and, well... It obviously helped. And this really changed the culture because we were able to produce stuff faster. We had new things, such as the radio as well. And don't forget that once cars were made, people from urban areas went to rural areas, bringing in their profanity, their drinking habits, and electricity. And smoking. Let's not forget about smoking. And that really just changed the culture of rural areas because they thought that urban areas were bad. The Bible. This is gonna be our next item for our fondue of American melting pot. 
And so the Scopes trial was basically held in Tennessee. And the problem was, nobody, they kind of went against what people thought at the back in the day. Because we didn't really want to say we were related to the monkeys. And so they held a big court and all that, and it caused a real huge problem, making people think, did we really grow? Ask the question. What was the question again? Did we evolve from monkeys? Did we evolve from monkeys? Well, it, it is. Oh, there was that one big question she showed us in a picture. Oh, no. Anyways, are we related to monkeys? That changed people's thoughts a lot. And you know, the Bible was the the people in Tennessee's counter argument that said that, you know, uh, God created everything, so uh, why would we have evolved from monkeys? So, and this really changed because now people were starting to think, well, what should be allowed to be taught in school? And, you know, should we be able to teach everything or should there be things that we leave out? It's still even a problem today. For our next ingredient, we have this, Ooh, uh, communism. We have this communist. And, you know, he's, uh, he's symbolizing the Red Scare. Well, the Red Scare is symbolized by this sheet, man. So, you know, we, uh, we gotta... Take it. Take it. Shut up! Give me that! As you know, uh, communism was very... Not okay, to put it in elementary terms. And, uh, that really affected our country politically and, uh, culturally. Because, well, many people, or not very many, that is, lost their jobs because they supported communism, and communism politically was just 100% banned. If you supported it, let's look at this poor man right here. Hello darkness, my old friend. Mmm, something smells good! And now, as you can see, our final product, a nice melted coffee flavored fondue. After all the trials and tribulations that America has gone through through political changes and cultural changes, we still are a delicious, delicious melted pot. We're all included in this, from Americans to Europeans to Italians to French. We got everybody in here in America now. And even though we tried to exclude people through immigration acts and all that mess, we're still delicious.